Some people may like to enjoy a glass of wine while watching Shark Tank, but this entrepreneur decided to bring hers on the show with her. When Jayla Siciliano appeared on Season 5, Episode 28 of Shark Tank, she was on a mission to change the wine industry with low-calorie wine spritzers. Dubbing her company Bon Affair, Siciliano believed her product would be a hit with health-conscious wine drinkers. The idea for this product came from Siciliano feeling excessively groggy the day after cocktail parties. To remedy this, she began diluting her wine with sparkling water. She fell in love with the blend's taste, which inspired her to create an alternative wine spritzer that would be better for consumers and not leave them with a dreaded hangover. One glass of red wine can contain upwards of 125 calories. Knowing this, Siciliano wanted to create a wine to fit health-conscious lifestyles. Her sparkling wine spritzers contained only 65 calories per glass, but it wasn't just the beverage's low calories that made it unique. Her product had no added sugars, and instead boasted electrolytes to ease hangover symptoms. When Siciliano entered the tank, she confidently assumed the sharks enjoyed drinking wine and that they cared equally about their health. She asked for $150,000 in exchange for 35% of Bonafair. Prior to Siciliano's appearance on the show, her product was available at 10 Whole Foods locations throughout California and had sold $11,000 of product in approximately six weeks. This is a lighter alternative. Think of it as the best sparkling water ever, because it has wine in it. While Barbara Corcoran volunteered that she enjoyed wine spritzers, the other sharks didn't share her enthusiasm. After she asked if men drink spritzers too, Kevin O'Leary claimed that men drink a wine spritzer equivalent known as rosé wine with ice. Regardless, Siciliano specified that her target market was working women or busy moms who might like to indulge in a healthier glass of wine. Unfortunately, most of the sharks felt Siciliano's concept either required too much work or wasn't substantiated enough to justify the investment. However, she did end up striking a deal with Mark Cuban, who offered her exactly what she asked. $150,000 for 35% of the company. Shortly after, Cuban helped grow her business to $500,000 in sales, though all of this money had to be reinvested into the company. While the sales numbers looked great on paper, the business was not profitable. When Siciliano appeared on Beyond the Tank, she was gearing up to meet with a large winery that could help her with distribution. The problem? She'd need to devalue her other investors' shares to offer the winery equity. Cuban advised her to offer the distributor the equity on the condition that the new investors meet a sales requirement. Even though Siciliano was nervous, she and the winery eventually reached a deal. To help with sales, Cuban suggested the company come up with a drinking container that could be used in the pool. Siciliano agreed to launch such a product, and the company introduced an aluminum drinking container to its customers. Siciliano ultimately left Bonafair in 2016 to pursue other business ventures. In 2019, the company's blog shared that its wine was available for purchase in Texas, Florida, Maryland, New Hampshire, Arizona, Minnesota, California, South Dakota, and Arkansas. As of 2023, the company is still in business, raking in about $5 million per year. Customers can still find Bonafair products in some Total Wine & More locations, and is available in two flavors, Syrah and Sauvignon Blanc. By 2021, Siciliano had transitioned from Shark Tank entrepreneur to real estate maven. She shared on her Instagram account, my career has zigzagged from corporate to entrepreneur on Shark Tank to becoming a mom, then back to corporate. Siciliano and her husband began investing in vacation rentals before eventually starting their own vacation management company, Atlas Vacation Properties. Before launching her rental business in 2020, Siciliano worked as the vice president of sales and marketing at Seymour Duncan. Her rental business gives her the opportunity to spend more time with family while also allowing her space for creative endeavors. 